Hi guys, welcome back to another Transformers toy review. This time I'm having a look at a third party product from Mastermind Creations and this is R34 Cylindrus Command Officer. Uh, this is from their reformatted line and this is basically their IDW roller. So um, I've had this guy probably for about a month now and fortunately I just, well I've had a sort of a play around with the toy and everything um, but I've just not got round to doing a review so been a little bit slack on that recently so apologies so he um, comes packaged in his vehicle mode he comes with this blaster which I've added on it just kind of slots into there like that and you can kind of move it up and down a little bit but it's uh, designed just to sit in there it is a retool repaint of the tarn and thunder clash mold that we've seen a few times uh, so the transformation is, is exactly the same as that so i'm not gonna bother showing you guys the transformation because it is exactly the same just obviously that little difference with the gun storage and whatnot it does come with a few accessories so I'll just get these out. So obviously the gun which was shown. And these which are featured in the comic. So there's a little juice carton here. Which you can hold his hand with a little straw. Just got two of those. That one's kind of half empty. And the other one is a full carton there so just show you the, the difference between the two this one's slightly squished in so you get those two you do get also get another one of the capes here so we've had a few of these so it's obviously something that they are looking to do however for me I don't think it really goes with this character but you do have the option of using that or just maybe adding it to another character if you so wish and it's kind of it's kind of almost like suede kind of sort of cloth material on one side and um, sort of cotton on the outside here and it's stitched all the way around and it's got this kind of wire running through it so you can pose it in lots of different directions and the same on this bit here just the one wire going through on here and he's obviously got a hole there to pop his head through so he's got all of that so I'm just gonna pop that off to one side so you can get rid of that you get a collector's card here as well reformatted cylindrous and his stats on the back here which look pretty high all the way around strength 9 intelligence 9 speed 6 endurance 8 cast 8 Courage 9, Firepower 7 and Skill 8. So uh, good stats there. Pop that off to one side. And then you get his kind of instruction manual and comic in here as well. So this side is the instruction manual. So you can just kind of flip through. Shows you that he comes with his fusion cannon and energy drink. I think maybe one of the energy drinks is an extra. So that might be a uh, planet steel exclusive potentially and then through here shows you through to completion and also the um, their death saurus and then if you flip around the other way you've got in incognito which is issue 34 and um, the story is actually by uh, marty prime and then you've got this cool little addition thing that they've added on here. So on the previous ones, this bit was blank, but we've just added this in here. So you get starring Cylindrus, and then you get the supporting cast and antagonizers. So it's also featuring, uh, what's this guy's name? Barricade and Streetwise here. So it's a cool little story and it does also feature him Drinking his like juice carton. That's a pretty decent comic in here. It's a nice little added extra. I do enjoy 
the comics in here and you've got his box here same artwork that we've seen here before with this kind of shiny embossed feel on the front here and some pictures on the back of him in both modes and uh, the figures packaged in a clamshell plastic clamshell so that's pretty much it for all the extras and bits and pieces so I'm just gonna pop that off to the side for now yeah so we've got him here in vehicle mode what I'm gonna do is just do a bit of a comparison well actually first let's have a look at the figure and then we'll do a comparison so you've got silver all on here all the wheels roll pretty nicely you've got this kind of dark orange paint on here it's a little bit of bleed through on here most of the way throughout it's done quite well there's a few bits where you could potentially do with a knuckle another lick of paint you've got silver in here a little blue a little piece in the gun there um little, another bit of blue here you get translucent plastic on the front here and then gray paint down on here and then gray over the sort of gun metal plastic here with the blue kind of almost like headlights i guess on here and then you've got gray on the back here as well so it's a decent looking vehicle mode I'm pretty pleased with that. I like the sort of cock section on here just to make it look a little bit different. I'm going to bring in the um, Takara Unite Warriors roller as well. Take a look at him alongside him. And also the Power of the Primes Optimus Prime just to see the two side by side as well. Here we are, we've got them all side by side. You can see um, scale it's okay I mean it's basically a large armoured kind of tank um, when you think compared to this he, you know it does look quite large um, but he is supposed to be in kind of chug scale so that's kind of a little bit off um, this is the Hasbro version so he kind of you know he probably works better alongside these ones so it depends what mode you're going to have him in um, in this mode he doesn't really scale too well with the other ones. If um take a look at um so that was really just because he's supposed to be roller, so that kind of thing with Optimus Prime. But you can see the colours that are used on the Takara one, they are the same kind of colours that they've used for this one, even down to blues a little bit different, but uh similar sort of thing. I think this one actually would go quite well with the, some of the Siege toy line, um, you know, battle for you know, war for Cybertron sort of thing. Um, as with this, even though it's a bit more of a, an IDW look to it, anyway, what we're going to do next is we'll get him transformed, have a look at him in robot mode, and then we'll go from there. Here we are, we've got him in his robot mode, Let's see if that'll focus on him, and you see, you can actually hold the drink carton in his hand that's probably as close as you can get it to his face this other one um is a little bit trickier to hold in his hand this is the one that's actually full so it's a little bit harder to go in there but the one that isn't just slots in his hand nicely in there um as if it was a weapon in there so that's absolutely no problem and you just uh Let's pop it out of here whereas the other one you'd have to really sort of force it in a little bit so I'm not really willing to try that out. Um, let's go through some of the detail on the figure and then we'll do a bit of a size comparison. So the head can go look down all the way up you kind of get the confused dog look a little bit go all the way around you've got grey, really dark grey paint in here, blue eyes, orange around the sides and on the head here. This is orange plastic here. You've got the same blue detailing in here, grey paint, grey paint in here, all the silver detailing in here. You get waist articulation, articulation sorry, that goes all the way around. The arms on a joint that goes out like that. You can also rotate it 
all the way around you're kind of hindered by this backpack here but you can get everything that you would need really nice swivel here and then the arms can go up to there's a double so you can get bring it up to there if you want to let's straighten it up again so with us with the arms straight wrists rotate there is a little bit of movement in there as well I think a light just came down and then the fingers here you've got the one individual trigger finger and the other ones move all on the same pin hold his gun quite nicely on here I think you can plug it onto the side if you want to but it is designed more to fit into his hand like so uh, same on the other side obviously the legs the soft ratchet up to there up to there if you twist it round all the way back and out to the side there on a universal you get swivel right at the top here that goes all the way around bend in the knee it's kind of hindered by these back pieces here if you do move them out of the way you can go all the way back and you get some nice paint on the side of his knee there side of his leg and again on the front these front pieces here part of his knee and the feet you get a, a tilt in there forward back and even a toe in there as well so you can get some kind of poses where he's almost on the run there like that and he will hold that pose without any issue whatsoever so he's more or less got most of the weight on here with just his foot out here so just to show you that so you can get some uh, pretty dynamic poses out of him I'll just stick his gun in here as well like that yeah so I'm pretty pleased with the guy just kind of straighten him up now and uh, what we'll do that one is a little bit loose actually if you you can actually tighten it up actually so that shouldn't be a problem so what we'll do is we'll have a bit of a size comparison to have a look at some other figures as well uh, my only real criticism to be honest with you is just that on the face there could have done with just being perhaps a smidge lighter in the colour that they've chosen on there that, I think that's probably the only thing and if you bring in this is the Takara roller so a fair bit bigger bring in the Siege Optimus two of them there side by side and probably the one that he scales best with is the power of the primes optimus there so if you were going to display him with an optimus i'd probably have him alongside that one there i think that's probably looks the best in terms of scale and um in terms of who he's featured on with the comic here is barricade who he's featured with Get the two side by side there as well. In terms of uh, recommendations, definitely recommend this figure. Well worth picking up. Great articulation. Paint work is fantastic as well. Um, yeah, all all good. Lots of ticks on here. And if you want to see him with the this bit on, you can kind of get this on here and then it's really a case of just kind of messing around with it as you see fit but uh, yeah you can use that as well if you want to um, and actually he does look pretty cool like that doesn't he 
So um, who knows, may well end up using that as well. It's got a nice spot on the front as well where you can stick an Autobot sticker. That's it for now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye for now.